At the beginning of Parsha's bow, we're told about the eighth Makkah, the plague of Arbe, of locusts. Now, Arbe is not the name of a specific insect, but rather it's the name of a phenomenon. There are about 8,000 different types of chagavim, of grasshoppers. Here's one of them right over here. Hopefully you can see him clearly. Let's call him Shlaimi, the grasshopper. And out of these thousands of types of grasshoppers, only about 12 of them have the potential, under the right conditions, a combination of temperature and rainfall, they can multiply very quickly and turn into a swarm of locusts of Arba. As many of you know, Temani Jews have a tradition regarding the kashras of Chagavim, a certain type of grasshopper, and it's this type. This type is called Arbe HaMidbar. It's called Arbe HaMidbar because of its potential to, under those conditions, form a swarm of Arbe. The Arbe then, the swarm moves along and completely devours any vegetation along its path. The Pasuk in Mishle tells us that Melech ain la Arbe. The Arbe doesn't, they don't have a leader. They move along as a group, completely devouring any vegetation along the way. Vegetation is the symbolism of growth. And the Arba, the antithesis of that, nibbling away, and complete, each one on its own, without a leader, nibbling away, and leaving utter destruction along its path. What we are striving for, the vision of Am Yisrael, is the togetherness of Ata Echad, Veshimcha Echad, Umik Amcha Yisrael, Goy Echad Ba'aretz, one nation together with a leader, Melech HaMashiach, leading, leading us, Be'ezat Hashem, may we, may we be zochet to that, and see the complete rebuilding of Yerushalayim, the rebuilding of the Beis HaMikdash, Bayom Hahu, Yeh Hashem Echad, Ushmo Echad, have a wonderful Shabbos.